So we're working on a 30 today. Um, we've got the bottom, we've made like a perimeter frame that would be basically the floor. We've measured out our distance of our door, so we know that's going to be 36 inches. So this is basically the length of the cab. I forget the dimensions on it, I got it wrote down. So on a, on a Chevrolet, it's held together with wood, it's actually nailed together. So we took all the wood structure out earlier, and we're attaching this to this, we'll weld it in a couple of places so that we can get the whole car built as far as the top, and then we will chop this. I'll probably cut out the back window because that's going to stay the same size, but then we'll take out, I think it was five inches out of the side of the car, and uh, we'll bring the top down and then cut the back window out and fit it in so it's the same as all the other windows. sedan that we're turning into the truck. I just cut five inches out of the full window and now I'm just going to move on to the eight pillars. I got a little bit more cutting to do than just cutting straight five inches out of it and uh, you'll see that here in a little bit. Christmas, but I never did. We had to deliver it in the middle of the night. So uh, I told you Liz, it looked like an Indy car with these, these big tires on it. It looks really sharp, doesn't it? So, uh, I mean, you can see the, the hood scoop we put on. You know, the air conditioner's hid way down low. Um, you know, it still has all the bolts and everything on the firewall. And I know we got some good pictures of the inside. Um, but man, this thing, it's really nice to see it come back. It's, it's really, uh, we're, we're really proud of what we did here. Big hunk of tail leg. We had no, we had no leaks or anything, right? All right, so we had the roof on here. We got an idea of what we were, what we were working with. We decided we were going to take the roof back off because it'd be easier to chop the, uh, the pieces individually and then actually chop the back window out of the roof. This is an original eight pillar height and we've already cut the back window. They were how tall? 14 inches. So they were 14 inches. We took five inches out of them. So now they're nine inches? Yeah, nine inches. This, this nine inches is the same as the back window. So basically this window and the back window will be the same height and uh, it'll give it more of a, a natural look instead of that male slot that you see on a lot of chop tops we're going to keep the window big and kind of keep it all the same size the the doors will be the same they'll be nine inches when we put the roof back on we're going to do a five inch chop and a six inch chop could be a seven inch but we're going to do a, a tilted chop that's going to be really in the roof line instead of the windows it'll kind of be I'll, I'll pancake the top a little bit and we'll bring it down so uh, stay tuned, you, 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 you know, we're moving along today. Hey, uh, I'm going to be stretching the doors on the 30 pickup truck. So the dirt door currently is 28 and a half inches long. So I'm going to cut 30, sorry, excuse me, 12 inches off the back. And I'm going to cut uh, 4 inches off of this, 4 and a half inches. So I'm going to extend the door to 36 inches. I got, we got a 36 inch opening, so I have to factor in the 8 inch gap on each side of the door. So I'll end up cutting the door will be 35 and three quarters of an inch total uh, uh, length, you know, width. But I'm going to make the door wider, and this will make it easier for getting in and out. So you can kind of see what I've got going on here. I got it gridded out. I got it tape measured. Uh, all my 
cuts and everything, and I actually have every inch increment laid out. So stay tuned. It's going to be fun. All right. So the door has been stretched out to 35 and 3 quarter inches. Um, I haven't chopped the top yet, so I'm going to weld it together like this, then we'll chop the windshield portion of it. Uh, you can see I've got it tacked together, and I got, a, I got a copper bar behind it, so when we start welding, it'll keep, the, keep it from shrinking because the copper bar will absorb most of the heat. Plus the copper bar also uh, uh, allows for the, the gap, it'll fill in the gap, help me fill in the gap. So uh, we're also chopping the eight pillars. Um, they kind of graduated from a wider to a narrower at the top. So we had to cut them and we had to uh, pie cut and, and kind of relief, a relief cut and bring out the bottom to the top so it all looks good. So stay tuned. Okay, this is Lonnie Hot Rod Shop. Uh, not only does custom work happen within my shop, but my next door neighbor, he, does, he, he makes the frames for the hydraulic cars and he also does these panel paint jobs. And uh, he, he borrowed my booth last night. They did a, they did a late night. So we come into this surprise, and I mean, just look at the detail of the work. The engine turns silver leaf, you know, all the detail of the graphics, the candy, the water droplets. I mean, hell, I'm learning techniques I didn't even know about. He calls a certain thing called a fingerprint, you know, where it's got these lines. It's, it's, it's wild. It's, uh, so, and they made a convertible. This is a G body, and uh, they made a convertible out of it, so. Uh, really good work, a lot of custom work going around in this little complex where I'm at. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try to give you some other pictures of this one when it's outside. So stay tuned. We're just playing around. We got the pieces left over from the two doors we chopped up. So I now have a little quarter door if I wanted to make it a, you know, like a three door, like on the S10s. So I've got a little door. So we got the eight pillar for the 30 Chevy. I had to cut five inches out of it. I had to do a lot of measuring to see exactly where this line line up at. Cut the five inches out of it. Then I had to do a couple relief cuts, five cuts. You see how narrow it is here, how big it is up here. That's the transition that real smooth. Everything is well. well, with the visor on and a five inch jump chop in the front, uh, I'm not going to have a lot of windshields. So, five inches is, is working well for us. It's going to give us a nice, aggressive look. You can actually see how mean it looks. It's bent right here in the middle, and it actually looks kind of cool. It's kind of got a grimace to it, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, keep, keep watching. This is going to be a fun build. <laughs>